So I wanted to let you in on a little secret. This is the Benro B1 ball head. That's what I've been using for the past few years. And it's okay, it gets the job done. However, this is the NRL N44, and it is a massive upgrade. I think it might just be the best tripod ball head that you've never heard of. And I'm gonna tell you why. The N series of ball heads from Interel um, are their low profile ball head. So these ones are significantly shorter and it also means that they have a lower center of gravity, which is great for providing further stability when you're mounting your camera. Um, a few of the specs. So this is the N series, as I mentioned, uh, this is the N44, which means that it has a 44 millimeter diameter ball um, in there. And it also comes in a 36 and a 52. Um, of course, those vary in size, weight, and how much load that they can carry. Um, this one here, without the tripod plate, comes in at 400 grams, uh, which is really lightweight considering how stiff this ball head is and how much load it can carry. It's rated to 25 kilos, which of course you have to sort of take with a pinch of salt because if you're uh, loading it at an angle like that, then those loads and forces aren't going to be transferred directly down. Um, they're going to be off on a moment arm. And of course, the physics of it is going to be a bit different. So you might be thinking, you know, when am I ever going to put 25 kilos on top of this ball head? But uh, you might do if you put sort of a, a big telephoto lens hanging off, shooting something on the ground. So this ball head is 85 mil tall and it has a 58 mil diameter base. So that's a really nice wide base. Uh, that's going to offer loads of stability. It's Arca Swiss compatible, so that uses that sort of dovetailing plate on the top there. Um, and one thing to note is this is sort of like the minimalist tripod, if you will. There's um, really basic controls, but they're really they're done really really well. This is the Arca Swiss clamp um, adjustment, and it's just a straight adjustment. So on the Benro, on the Benro, if I show you quick. It has uh, this halfway stop there, you can hear it click, and you have to actually pull that knob out in order to get it to release the rest of the way. Um, that's sort of like a safety mechanism. This doesn't have that. This big knob here is the um, friction adjustment, which is basically your lock for the ball head. So if I loosen that, we get really free floating, and then if you just tighten it up a little bit, it gets really nice and stiff, but you can still move it a little bit and then you can completely lock it down. So some other tripods have got um, a third knob, which is sort of a tension adjustment, and that lets you tension the ball head um, to a certain level, and then you can completely unlock it or completely lock it down. This is all just in one knob, which is really simple. I quite like that, because I find all that old Benro that I just knock uh, the friction adjustment, and then everything goes out of whack, and yeah, just get rid of it. This is a really nice uh, knob to use as well. See, it's got a really good feel. Um, it's really well machined. And of course, all of these knobs don't have rubberized coatings. So that's one less thing that's gonna go wrong and fail. And then as you will have seen, this is the uh, panning knob. So that just unlocks, locks, really, really stiff. Everything locks down super tight. One huge benefit that I've noticed with this over some other ball heads that I've used is there's absolutely no creep. So that means basically, if I quickly throw my camera on top here, 
So what do I mean by this not having any creep? Well, that basically means if I've got my camera on here and say I want to aim a little bit down, when I tighten that knob off, there's absolutely no movement in the composition that I've chose. So it tightens it exactly where you've positioned it, which is a really nice feature because a lot of other um, all heads, you'll either, you'll tighten it and as you tighten it, it'll actually sort of almost creep the lens up a little bit and you've got to work with and sort of guess where you need to end up or where you need to position yourself so that you end up with the right composition. This one, this ball head does not have that problem. It is rock solid and um, there's absolutely zero creep. So that is a huge, huge benefit and one thing that I'm really loving for getting really precise compositions. So in some sort of more concrete numbers, what makes this tripod head so stiff? Well, I think it's to do with the way that the ball head actually sits down into the locking mechanism. So the locking mechanism here is actually um, grasping that ball head from the top as well. Whereas on something like this, you can just see in there, you can just see in there that white piece. That's the locking mechanism. So what it's doing is actually pushing the ball head up into these metal grooves on the top here, um, which is a completely different way of locking things down. This one, the ball head's being compressed from all sides. And that results in a really high stiffness, um, which if you follow a website called The Center Column, which is a great tripod review website, um, they test stiffness, they test the different stiffness levels of ball heads. Um, so I've got a few numbers here to give you some comparisons of other tripod heads that you might be comparing this one to. So for instance, the Benro IB2, which is essentially uh, the model one bigger than that, comes in at about two or uh, 3000 Newton meters per radius. That's their sort of um, standard unit of measurement. By comparison, this Inarel comes in at almost four and a half thousand. So it's just about 50% stiffer than the bigger size of the Benro ball head that I used to have. A few other popular choices are the Really Right Stuff uh, BH40, and that comes in just a little bit lower than this at 41.55. So it's about 300 uh, Newton meters per radius less stiff than this. Um, and it also costs almost five times more. The Leofoto LH40 is another popular choice. That comes in at 37.78. So again, um, not quite as stiff as this and it costs a little bit more. Um, and then another popular choice might be the Suroi K30X. And that one is incredibly stiff coming in at almost six and a half thousand. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive. It has some rubberized coatings here. Um, and I think it also might weigh a tiny bit more. So that one's sort of a, a toss up. There's some nice features on this that I really like. Uh, the simplicity, the all metal construction, but the Suri might be quite a lot stiffer. For me, this was um, the choice because it came in at 80 quid, which was really, really reasonable, um, whereas the Suri was, would have cost me about 120. So for 40 pounds more, I just felt like uh, I preferred the all metal construction and the stiffness of this was just absolutely fine. It also comes in this little sort of carry case, uh, which is padded and it comes with two pretty good uh, Arca Swiss plates. So whether you want to use that or not, that's up to you. I probably won't use that because it's just going to be on my tripod the whole time. So that is the Inner N44. I'll leave a link down below to um, where you can buy it. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Hope you got something out of this and you enjoyed this little tripod gear review. Cheers everyone. See you in the next one.